In today's video, we're going to finish up our design that we started yesterday, creating this coffee add to cart screen using Adobe Dimension and Adobe XD. In the last video, we left off with our wireframe and we have it set up ready for our finished design. We have our coffee label and we just need to go make our product and then add some color and finalize our design to finish today's project. That's today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. So here in Adobe Dimension, I have the canvas size set up to 414 by 896. And then here in the models, I've just added the food pouch because I think it kind of looks like a small sized coffee bag, maybe four ounces like we made our product. I'm just going to click on the product itself and I'm going to go down here to the materials and I'm just going to apply a mat to this just to get the colors that I want out of this. I don't want it so shiny, but I am going to tweak the roughness just a little bit because this is going to be really matte. Uh, so I'm going to drag the roughness down to 52% or anything around 50 and the metallic to around 51% probably. And the opacity at 100 and glow at zero. Just so when we render this out, it's not too flat. For the base color itself, I'm going to be doing this app in a dark theme, so I'm just going to give it a 292929 color fill to make it a nice black color. Underneath the actions panel here, we can select this icon, and that allows us to grab our label and apply it to our product. With my graphic selected here under the food pouch element, I'm going to select the top square and hold shift just to scale it down in all directions equally, and then I can just click anywhere in the circle to drag this anywhere around this product just to get it perfectly centered and aligned the way I want it. And if you're not happy with the shape, you can always go back and change the scale and size of the label. Uh, but I'm happy with how this looks, so I'm going to go ahead and swap to the render tab. In the render tab, I have my file named. I'm going to set this to a slow, high quality, 32 bits. And I also like to render it out as a PNG, so I have it. And then hit render. Now that we have this completely rendered, I'm going to load up this Photoshop file and we can crop this product. The reason we use this artboard size is because I wanted to get my product to look exactly how I wanted it in my design. And so this is the scale and the view and the angle I want this product to be in my app. So I placed it exactly where I wanted it. So here in Photoshop, I just need to hide the background layer, select the rendered image, and I'm going to hit C on the keyboard for the crop tool. And I'm just going to crop this and it'll snap to each of the edges of the product. Once I have that cropped, I'll hit the check mark and then I'm going to save this as a PNG file. And we're going to drag this into our design. Once I've dragged in my cropped image, I scaled it down to 265 by 361. Anywhere around that will work for the tutorial. So I'm just going to add this to the center of the artboard horizontally and vertically. I want to set this 140 from the top and then I'm just going to drag the product over to the left just a bit. So if you look at it now, it's kind of creating this axis on the left hand side for the design and I think it looks pretty nice. So selecting that, I'm going to go ahead and add a drop shadow before I forget just to add a real subtle detail so it doesn't look too flat. I have mine set to negative 5, 30 on the blur then a straight black color set to 41%. So to add some color to this, I'm going to select the background and I'm going to set mine to 2B, 2B, 2B for a nice grayish black color. And all of my font is going to go to white. With the body font, I'm going to lower it down to 60% opacity just so it doesn't clash with our heading. So that adds a nice gray fill color to it. You can also leave this at 100 and set it to a fill color that you'd like. I just like to do this because it's nice and quick. Quantity and size need to be changed to white as well. And then for the four ounces, since that is the option selected in our product label, just so it matches, I'm going to go up there and sample that. For the other two options, I'm going to change them to a border and remove the fill. And on these, I'll actually change the fill color to E2E8F0. It's just a whitish gray with a little bit of a blue tone in there. And I'm going to do the same thing for the quantity rectangle, remove the fill and apply that color to the border. For the add to cart button, I actually like it being gray and I'm just going to make it just slightly darker and add a blue tone in there. So I'm setting mine to 60, 60, 6 F just so that it stands out from the background a little bit, giving it a little bit more contrast. 
Up top, we need to change our icons to white so we can clearly see them. And I'm gonna add a dot up here to show that there's something in the shopping cart. Just gives me a good idea of what this is gonna look like when the app's in use. So I'm gonna set this circle to 10 by 10. And I have a border that I'm gonna bump up to two. And I'm gonna set that to this option here, which is the outside. And I'm just gonna position that. And for the border, I'm gonna fill it to the background so it looks like it's cutting into that shape. That's a real quick way to do that. And then we'll apply that yellow fill just so that dot stands out nicely. The last thing I wanna do is add a little bit of detail to the background. I wanna add some kind of waves in the background since this is coffee, so kind of like a splash effect. So I'm gonna do that using the pen tool. So I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm just gonna start creating some nice curves. And for the fill on this, I'm actually gonna set this to the same color as the background. And for now, we'll leave it over top of the product just so we can see it. And then I'm gonna have another one that's just slightly darker behind it. So I'll grab the pen tool once more. Just whatever you feel looks pretty cool. So I'll remove the border and fill that. And for the fill on this one, it's 272727. So it's just slightly darker. And I'm gonna hit Command, left square bracket key to send it behind the first one. And then to make this stand out, I'm gonna add a rectangle remove the border, and for the fill, I've set it to 1A, 1A, 1A. And with it selected, I'm gonna send it all the way to the back with Command, Shift, left square bracket key. And so now you can see our waves. We have our lightest colored one, one slightly darker, and then the background. So I'm gonna grab both of the waves and send them to the back, and then bring them in front of the background there. I used Command, Shift, left square bracket key to send it all the way to the back, and Command, right square bracket key once to bring it one layer forward. So we have something that looks like this. For my design, I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail. I'm gonna add kind of some little splashes coming off the waves with some circles. I'm just gonna rotate some ovals and fill those the same color as this second wave. And then maybe I have a larger one. I'm gonna hang it off the screen, coming off of that wave right there. And with that, we have completed our coffee at the cart screen using Adobe XD and Adobe Dimension. So if you guys enjoyed creating this app screen, I think it looks really good and I'm a fan of dark theme, so I really like this one. And I like the details we added in the background with the waves. So let me know what you guys think of the design down in the comments below. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Tomorrow is the final day of design week, so I have a video planned for that one. And I think it's gonna be a pretty cool one, so I hope you guys We'll check out that video tomorrow. So make sure you guys subscribe for more design-related content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.